Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at some Maya modeling tricks and secrets. So today we're going to look at show UV edge colors, select contiguous edges, and how to grow and shrink your selection with a hotkey, which can be super useful. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's check out the uh, border edge colorization uh, tool. So uh, first we need some UVs on this guy. So just go into UV options, uh, planar options, just do a reset in there. We'll just choose camera. Just get a quick projection on there. Okay, and then next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into UV and I'm going to enter the 3D cut and sew tool. I've got a whole tutorial on showing how to use this tool that you can check out um, on the channel. So uh, let me just double click to add a border edge there and then I'm just going to drag select these guys to cut their UV shell there. And same thing on the bottom. That's great. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to click um, this custom button that I made. Uh, just to do a quick uh, unwrap and unfold on there. Okay, so you'll notice when I select the object, uh, what you can first do to kind of get an idea of where your shell edges are on your 3D model is you can click this guy here to uh, toggle the texture borders. And that will bring like a white highlight to show you where the shell edges are um, of your UV shells, uh, which is cool in 3D. That's quite helpful. If you want to get to that menu, you can also get it from the shift right click menu. So toggle texture borders there, toggle them back on, or use the buttons up here. So this is a pretty basic example. So let's make it a little bit more complex. So uh, same thing, we'll just enter the cut and sew tool again here, and we'll double click to add a shell there and there. Let's add one here and here. Let's cut that guy and let's say here. Cool. So now that we've got something a little bit more complex, I'm just going to go over here and uh, click Control L on the keyboard to lay those guys out. OK, so now this is a little bit more tricky because I've got the uh, border edge highlight turned on, but there's so many shells now, I don't really know which one is like going to go to which one. And I could you know, go in and kind of select them all or whatever and try to figure it out that way. Uh, but there's actually a pretty cool tool that they have, which is this next button right beside here, which is coloring the shell border. So you turn that guy on and click it, and you're like, uh, nothing happened. OK, so how this tool works is when it's on, whichever edge you have selected is going to highlight and show you the adjacent edge that it's part of by colorizing the two edges. So for example, if I select these little edges here, it's going to show me that those three edges are green and the adjacent or shared edge between the two uh, shared verts or whatever are green down here. So you can see as I select uh, more of this stuff, you'll see all the colors kind of turn on. This can be really handy when you're working on a complex shape and you're like, oh man, like, you know, where does this snap to and like, where can I like sew it to or whatever? Um, so you can see here, if I select the circle one, it's also really handy too. With a quick view like this, you can tell that it's a border edge. I'm just going to turn that off actually. But you don't actually know where the short shared edge is. So if you click there, you can just be like, OK, that this guy here corresponds to this strip. So that strip there and whatever, vice versa. You could select that one and know that it's like down there or whatever. So that can be super helpful uh, for certain unwrapping tasks. And for whatever reason, this happens all the time when I do like auto UV layouts. For some reason, it always makes a dick and balls shape. I have no idea why. It's just, I don't know, UV layouts always seem to favor the dick and balls. So enjoy that. OK, next up, select contiguous edges. So I believe what a contiguous edge is, is like an edge that is uh, connected on all sides or something like that. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, basically, um, here, has this ever happened to you? So you've got your object, you go into edge mode, and you're double clicking and select an edge loop here. Double click and a sec, an edge loop there. Everything's awesome. Double click. Yeah, this is sweet. Okay, okay. I, I want to like select this edge loop. And you double click and what the fuck? Double click, nothing. What the hell's going on? So this is caused by the fact that there is no, or Maya doesn't think there's an edge loop there uh, because there's no inner ring. So basically, you've got this giant end gone. And so for whatever reason, double clicking, it can't figure it out that you want to select that. Um, so there are a couple tools actually to select that, which is pretty cool. So the first one is the select contiguous edges tool. So we can go into select and we can go into the contiguous edges. Actually, I'm just going to tear this menu off here uh, just so we can do it. Um, so double click doesn't do anything. And you can just click this guy, select contiguous edges. 
and boom, you've got your edges selected. Uh, you could uh, hit Control and Shift and click it and make a button for your shelf up there. Uh, so I've got one over here because I need to use this tool all the time. But what you will notice is on something that has like less curvature in it, like this six-sided uh, cylinder, I'm going to select an edge there. I'm going to click the contiguous edges. And boom, nothing happens. It won't select the contiguous edges. So, so what you can do is uh, just go into the options box for it. And you can fiddle with these settings, which are basically the tolerance of like how it should select the edge. So if we crank up, I think it's this 2D tolerance here. Let's fiddle with that for a bit. OK, boom. So 53, whatever. Uh, and it works. But there's actually a much easier way to do this, uh, which you guys will probably like better. So let's check that out now. OK, so close all this. I don't need the contiguous edges. So what you can do, I think this is a new feature to Maya 2018, but uh, it's super cool. Uh, so you select the edge and right click and hold, and then just go to select similar and boom, it's going to try to get all the similar edges. So let's just try that a couple more times because this tool can sometimes be flaky. Yeah, see there, it got all the similar, but it missed this guy. So what you can do is you can actually go into the select similar, uh, and you can change this tolerance to basically lower the tolerance. If you lower it too much, I would imagine it's going to start selecting edges out here. So uh, that's just another tool that you can use if the contiguous stuff doesn't work for you. And let's just try it uh, on this guy and see how it does. So uh, just uh, select the one edge there and then go to select similar. And yeah, see, it's like trying to select some random thing down there or whatever. So you might be better off actually sticking with the contiguous edges. But uh, it's going to depend on the shape of your geometry. So you've got uh, two tools to try out there. And then, as I mentioned before, the reason that you can't double click uh, these edges is because it's not an edge loop because it doesn't have stuff on the other side of it. So there's always this old trick, too, which is just extruding the face in. So you have an edge loop there and it's no longer a giant end gone. And then you can double click this all you want. We've just moved the end gone up here. So now I can't double click that, but I can double click this. OK, and finally, we've got the grow and shrink selection, which is super useful. I've been using this stuff every day for. 20 years at this point, I think. Um, so basically, uh, we've got the shape here. And it's a complex shape. And it's going to be really hard to kind of get in there and select this stuff. It's going to can't really go to the top down view. I can't really do a marquee selection because it's going to be janky, like, whatever, I could, you know, kind of go in there and select this stuff like one at a time or whatever, and just get a ring. Um, but all that is uh, much slower than just growing the selection. So let's say I want to, my goal is to get all this guy and just like separate it. Actually, let's make this even more complex. Let's add in just like a little tiny edge there. So my goal is to extract all of these faces uh, up to here, but not that little ring. I want to leave that one alone. So uh, a really quick way to do this is just uh, go into face mode, select a face, and then if you hold shift on the keyboard and the uh, period and the comma and press those or, or the weird kind of little right arrow, the right arrow grows. So shift little comma right arrow thing, you'll see it expands with every click. So you just keep pressing it and just keep growing your selection. Grow, grow, and then boom, let's say like whatever, we just wanted to delete it for uh, uh, just for an example or whatever. Uh, and then same thing, the little uh, comma plus shift, shift plus the comma slash whatever that little weird little arrow is there will shrink the selection if you go too far. So, oh no, I went like too, too far. So you can just go shrink, 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 shrink. Um, so that is super useful. So like even here, let's get this edge. And I just like, I just want to like grab those quickly. So you can just go shift, uh, period and go boom, got that stuff. Delete it, boom, done. Uh, so that's super helpful. And that has been a hotkey in Maya since, uh, I don't know, the beginning of time, I think, as far as I can remember. Alternatively, you can uh, select a face and you can hold control and hold right click, and it'll bring up this menu and you can grow selection uh, through here to grow it. But uh, that's way too slow. Just uh, hold down shift and use those little arrow keys. Boom, 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 boom. If you like this video and want to see more game art tips and tricks, please click the subscribe button. As usual, any links will be in the description. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have an excellent day.